the aim of this entire strategy, the arc of crisis from Afghanistan down through Libya, is to create chaos in Russia, chaos around Russia, and chaos between China and Russia that would prevent the development of a Eurasian economic uh, union. Well, it would also disrupt uh, the Chinese oil flows from Africa and the Middle East, and it would disrupt uh, various pipelines that Russia would build toward Europe, the South Stream especially, from Gazprom. And the, so the ultimate aim of this political operation with the Muslim Brotherhood and, and Al-Qaeda on the part of Washington is to create this arc of crisis that Brzezinski called it in the 70s across the Islamic world, but directed not only inwardly in the Islamic world, but against Russia and China and the Eurasian economies. So the counterpoint to this is the emergence of step by step uh, of a Eurasian space, an economic space. The first foreign trip that President Xi made in China in April as the new president of China was not to Washington as one might have expected toward the country where most of Chinese uh, economic activity is focused in the last 30 years, but to Russia to meet with President Putin. Number nine on China's list of priorities of foreign visits was the United States, where President Xi finally met Obama uh, in a catastrophic meeting from the standpoint of U.S. foreign, foreign image uh, with President Xi in California. Uh, some two and a half, three weeks ago. Uh, the creation of economic infrastructure between China, Russia, Iran, what I call the Iron Triangle of resistance to the globalization uh, steamroller of the United States, is probably the most important resistance point in the world today against creation, and I use these words very carefully, not of globalization, but globalization is another term for global fascism. Advisors of Bush and also of Obama have worked for decades on what they call the creation of universal fascism under the name of spreading democracy. The closer cooperation between China and Russia especially, and increasingly with Iran added to that, are destabilizing the timetable of Washington significantly. How that will resolve we will know much better in the next six to twelve months, but at this point it's a tectonic power struggle between East and West.